Some people think you can tell a person's intelligence by their looks. I'm going to test that old theory, that people are blessed with either beauty or brains, and you don't find them both in the same body. I know that being a blonde with huge boobs, that people think I'm dumb, and the fact that I was a page three girl for many years, I know that I'm completely typecasted. I'm actually pretty smart, just academically dumb. She's a WAG, reality TV star, and former page three model. But does Nicola McLean have natural intelligence? We're going to play the age-old game of pennies in a jar. Will Nicola's street-smart brain be quick enough to calculate the exact amount of pennies just by looking? Now, if Nicola had been a good girl at school and done her maths homework, she might use this mathematical formula created to calculate the amount of pennies in the jar. I want to see if Nicola can use her street smarts to beat the boffins. And I've chosen this sweet shop to take her back in her mind to her school days. We're going to play a game, but before we do that, there's one thing that I want you to think of. I want you to think of an item that, when you were young, you would have had to have saved money to buy. And maybe you didn't get it, maybe you would have put some pennies into a jar to save for that item. Uh, could you get something like that in your head? Yeah. Great, great. I'm going to try and guess it. I probably won't get it. Now, before we begin, I've got a little present for you here. Um, it is a little uh, commemorative uh, little medallion, a little oh, token. Oh, cool. that, I know, that's my head. Can hey. you believe it? Uh, so I want you to hang on to that. Do you have any pockets? No, I can put it in my bra. Uh, oh, can you? All right, really. Uh, just put it in. Don't look at it too closely. Pop it in there, and uh, I'll get it out whenever I need it, <laughs> if you don't mind. So um, with that in mind, we're going to play a game, a okay. savings game, and it works with uh, these over here. All I want you to do is take a little scoop and put in some pennies. Fill okay. it up for me. While Nicola randomly distributes the pennies into eight jars, I'll distract her. I'll make her think about that childhood item, so she's not counting how many pennies she's scooping. Is this something that you never got, or something that you did get but you want more of? I never got it. Oh, you never got it? All right. Right. Is that cool? Lovely. Brilliant. So... You have left some behind, yeah. um, and you've made, what is it, seven or eight jars here with various amounts of them, some quite full and some a little bit low. Uh, which one would you like? Point to it. That one. Do you like that jar? Is that your favourite? Well, the bigger the better. OK. Uh, so <laughs> this will be your jar. Now, so that we don't get it mixed up with anything else, we get this uh, very pretty little red card. So that is going to be your jar. Now, Nicola, I'm going to ask you to try and guess the number of coins that are inside this jar. I want you to stand here for me and stare at the jar. I want you to have a look all around it, and I want to get you to get a sense of how many coins there might be in it. I want you to get a sense of their size, their shape, etc. And I'm going to have you scribble down your guess here. Hold that up against yourself for me and scribble it nice and big and clear. And go ahead, write down your random guess, whatever you like there. Yeah. Okay, that is one, nine, seven, one. So, <laughs> what do you think are the chances of this being right? Be honest. No, it's not 100% not gonna be right. Okay, all right. What I have here is a patent pending registration money counter. Now, what's gonna happen is you yourself are gonna empty these pennies and that is gonna give us a count out. I think I just do this, and if you slowly tip some in here, let's see how far we get. Can you keep an eye on the counter, Nicola? Just make sure that absolutely none of them go missing. Oh, there's one left. <gasps> 1,971, wow. your guess? 1,971? No, that would you is so ever, weird. Would you ever have believed you could have done that? Of all of the numbers, but you could have chose any one of the jars, but you didn't, you chose this jar. Out of all of the other jars you could have chose, before you came today, I wrote this inside the lid. 
You could have put any amount of coins inside any jar. One more scoop above or less would have totally changed the number. How? I like, know. How? I know. Kind of a big deal. So, um, but apart from that, there was one thing that I gave you before you came. I gave you a beautiful little token. Yeah. Um, do, can I have the little token back? I think the token was on this side. <laughs> No, that token, um, it's got my head on it, but it's also OMG, got... OMG, no! Before oh you did God. anything, before you picked a jar, before anything, the first one, thing that you nine, did when you seven, came one. in, 1,971. Your guess, your jar, your coins. Um, but after you did that, uh, you can keep that for me. I and will. it's got my head on it, lucky oh you. Oh, my God, this is so crazy. So one thing that I asked you to think about at the very start, though, was something that you would have to save money for. Yeah. Now, what was that? A Malibu Barbie. A Malibu Barbie? <laughs> All right, okay. At the very start, when you picked your jar, I stuck this on the front of it. Would you take that off for me? I don't want to touch it. And uh, just go ahead and peel that open for me. Oh, my God. Out loud for oh me. Oh, my God. Out loud. I'm saving all my pennies up so I can buy a Malibu Barbie sunset doll, Nicola. Was that a genuine secret? Absolutely, And when yes. was the last time you thought about that item? Um, probably not since I was about seven. Right, OK, all right, brilliant. Well, look. I'm totally freaked out. Good, good, good. Totally freaked out. You did a brilliant out. job. You're Thank amazing. you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank really you so amazing. much. Oh, my God.